Excellency, dear brother, governor, sister, first lady, Madam Director, and as we always say, all other protocol observed. As I sat and looked at the faces of these smiling children, I could do no less than reflect 20, 25 years ago in our country when kids their ages children like them could not go to school because there were no schools. When children like them were conscripted into the army where they held guns that were bigger than they when those children did not have the comfort of lights or water or care of their parents. Today, those children are adolescents. They are part of our young population, 60% of which are 35 years and younger. And it's only now that they are trying to get an education. And then I look at these children. Five of them from my own country. And I look at the ones that I had home today. 15 years after the war ended, close to 12 years under my leadership. And I see them in my country now have a backpack, now in uniform, now going to school, now seeking what's still missing that quality of education that enables them to reach their potential. And these, through you, can now have an opportunity, the opportunity to learn, to excel, the opportunity to be what they want to be and what they can be and what they strive to be. It is an opportunity that not so many children all over Africa and all over the world have to come together as children of the global family to share language, to share experiences, to share tradition and culture, diverse but unified. There's nothing more than that. And I see in each of their faces and as I listen to their voices, determination. Determination to build upon from whence they have come, from those communities and villages and towns where poverty dragged them down, kept them from being able to pursue what they would like to be in life. And so that determination from all of you, the many whom we spoke to who say, I want to be a doctor, or 
I want to be an engineer or I want to be a scientist or I want to be a member of parliament and why they haven't said it I see on the faces of some of those little girls I want to be a president these are the hope of an African future an African future that is what our director was saying shaped by Africa determined by Africa led by Africa owned by Africa and I say to them you need now the pursuit of excellence excellence means not only you can be what you want to be but you can be the best of what you want to be so that when you go out there among your schoolmates you can walk like you're walking on the cloud because they all look to you as a leader and they come to you and say tell me this one or show me this one or help me with this one I see in the faces of all of them that they'd like to be that they want to be those leaders that stand out so that they can when they finish their schooling and return to their country they will be the ones that would take up the leadership mantle you will be the one that will march forward and lead others to be able to encourage them Excellency Member Secretary Governor Madam First Lady I've traveled in many parts of the world and I've certainly traveled throughout Africa I've never experienced something like this I've seen leaders of Africa build schools and clinics and roads and hospitals provide scholarships and all of those things have helped to enhance our African culture our African tradition but this that goes beyond the ordinary to gather the children the children of Africa from all of our countries and to bring them together in one familyhood sharing each other I thank you I'm honored by President Obasanjo being the chairman of the board he's very special to Liberia because he was the forerunner and the leader of the processes that led to our peace and I want to thank the first lady of Nigeria who with the encouragement of his excellency the president Buhari can strengthen you to enable you to carry on this good work and to all of you who are in this room who have been contributors to this great initiative and have been those who have been stood by the governor and his wife to enable them those who serve on the board or those who serve in the capacity of support to him to all of you we give applause and we give gratitude for being able to do this thank you merci obrigada